Oh, what? Ever wondered how long your memory is before it stops? Well, I did. I try to remember what I have to say today. And I'm going to share with you today some humor, ideas, and what I read that made me a better person. One of my humor stories is my cousins were driving in Tyler Street where construction is, and they were supposed to go around that area, but their house is like right there close. So they went through the construction and the police got them, and they and the police got them right in front of a sign that says detour. <laughs> and the police was like, is the sign not big enough to see? <laughs> So, well, my cousins um, told them that my house, that their house is right there, and so the police let them go. They, they didn't give them a ticket. Next one is, I was at the kids' camp, and we, we have one of the activities where we um, ride the boats. So, and some of the kids, one of our rules is that um, not to jump out of the boats. And some of the kids did that, and so we decided, the teacher decided to te teach the kids what not to do. So we all got on the boat and rowed out into the, sailed out into the middle of the uh, lake, and so we're like, this is what you're not supposed to do. And so we all got out of the boats and started to swim in the lake, and then we see the owner running. <laughs> he was running, he was yelling, like, get in the boats, you're not supposed to get on the boats. And so we got, we got in trouble that day and so we wanted to teach the kids but we got in trouble so when they were like we're trying to not let the kids know what happened we're like and this is what you should do and we're all starting to get into the boats <laughs> we got in trouble yeah and some of my ideas yeah, probably <laughs> I'm gonna read them some of them if we were all perfect then we wouldn't need to achieve something we wouldn't be able to set goals and we wouldn't be able to improve. And if we didn't go to school for 12 years, what would we be doing instead? Uh, when you're in a hurry to get somewhere, yet you have a red light stopping you, it means something. You never know what happens if you didn't have a red light. Uh, does the time ever stop when you need it to stop? If we didn't have technology, there would be no requirements that say typed paper or typed outline. <laughs> Can paper be made out of something else other than trees? Is there such a thing as time machine so I can return time and visit my grandma in Ukraine who is long gone? Um, my grandma, she died in 2005, I think. And I was here for 11 years and I haven't got to see her and she died like five years ago and I wanted to see her and but she's gone. And some other things that I read that made me a better person is in the building business success I read that we need to appreciate little things that people do that sometimes goes by a notice. Uh, so the things that we the things that we think it should be that way, but it, you know, there, there's always a reason, so you, you'll have to do it, but it's always have to be done. And the three Ds, the dirty, the dangerous, and the dual, is what should be done no matter what. Yet we can be appreciated for their work. Uh, in the natural speaker, I didn't realize that communication is receiving and sending until I read it in the book. Maybe I thought about it, but not in that way. And one thing that really got me was the quote, one seldom regrets unspoken words. And so I try to talk less you now, so I won't regret the words <laughs> I say. Um, because that's where communication is irreversible. And when you say an apology, You say it, but you can't take take the words back. Sometimes you might hurt someone, but you just say an apology, and that's that's all you can do about it. So it's better to say less. Um, and communication is a process, and it is learned. 
and it should be appre appreciated. And I, I also learned that you're not supposed to take communication personally. When you speak to somebody and they ask you some questions, you should put the speaker in, in the attention, the center of attention. You should be thinking, uh, what's this person's character? Um, what are they doing? What are they like? Uh, what's the poor person's point of view? And how's this person feeling? All those questions. So you won't... And it also avoids conflicts because you won't be thinking about yourself then, like this person is trying to offend me or something. So um, you should try to put the person in the center of attention, not yourself. Uh, and I also learned that body gestures <coughs> and face, eyes, and my voice communicate powerful messages without without one word being said. I have also learned, I have read in the Bible, in the book of Acts, uh, about the lives of apostles, and how they were faithful to their faith, and, they, and what they believed in. And they were not afraid, afraid to speak up and tell everybody about Jesus, how he's, one of, how he's the one that saved the world, and he's the Messiah whom people didn't accept, and this book encouraged me to be strong and not afraid of the things that can happen to you when you go and speak to everybody about Jesus. And Jesus said that uh, he was persecuted, and so you will be persecuted. Um, in the News Tribune, I read that one was killed in a scene of high speed crash into others in critical condition and it was a sad story especially since I knew that person who died and um, I their par his their parents go to our church <laughs> this story got me thinking uh, on life after death and where would I go if my life was taken away any moment and where would I spend my forever? Forever, like, it's, it has never an end. It doesn't have an end. I, uh, one of the preachers said that forever, it's like a circle or a ring. It doesn't have a stop. It's like goes round and round. So that's kind of, it defines a forever I, for me. And so, It's scary to think about it. When, if you're, if you think that you are, um, that you your life was good and that you would go to heaven, that's really good. But it's when you think you're not gonna go there, it's kind of scary that your forever is other than heaven. And I've mentioned some of my humor ideas, some of my humor ideas, and what I read that made me a better person. So, we'll have to lengthen our memory to remember all that we learned this quarter. <laughs>